to take this obligation freely. Illinois Republican lawmakers are calling for U.S. Democratic Senator Roland Burris to resign and be investigated for perjury. The fact is, we're getting a continuing change of story from Mr. Burris regarding his, uh, his appointment. The controversy comes after the recent disclosure of an affidavit dated February the 5th that contradicts Burris's testimony before the Illinois House Impeachment Committee. That committee was investigating charges Governor Rod Blagojevich tried to sell Barack Obama's former seat for campaign contributions or potential high-profile jobs. On January 8th, Burris was asked, did you talk to any members of the governor's staff or anyone closely related to the governor, including specifically the governor's brother? Burris said he had only talked to some of the governor's friends. But in the affidavit, Burris acknowledges the governor's brother contacted him for help raising campaign funds several times. Burris at one point cautioned it could be viewed as an attempt to curry favor. Today, Senator Burris said he's been transparent all along. And I did not donate one single dollar, nor did I raise any money or promise any favors of any kind. Legal analysts say revising testimony after the fact is not uncommon, so perjury charges against Senator Burris are unlikely to be pursued. But there are other potential ramifications. Senator Burris is probably not in legal trouble, but he is going to face an even more difficult time winning re-election, winning renomination to his Senate seat that when it comes up in 2010. The U.S. Senate could move to expel Burris, but analysts say that's unlikely to happen. It's not the kind of distraction Senate Democrats need as they try to move forward the president's agenda. Thalia Asuras, CBS News, Washington.